Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, here we go again. English friends is live from good afternoon, good evening. Yes, guys. Well, actually, it's 6 30 p.m. here in France right now. So yeah, it's actually evening here. How's everybody doing? Well, yes, guys, I missed all of you guys. So yeah, here we go again. We're gonna have another English lesson, everyone. And guess what? Can you guess what the lesson is? Well, probably you can or probably you can't, but I'm pretty sure you can. <laughs> well, anyway, how's everyone? Hmm? How's everyone before anything else? Let's talk about how's everybody doing. Hmm? Just give me a second, guys. Just give me a second. Sorry, guys. Just a second, please. Oh, welcome to my live stream, Mary Flower in Vietnam. How are you, Mary Flower in Vietnam? Thank you so much for dropping by. Yes, guys, so uh, actually in today's streaming, it won't be really a long live streaming, okay? So probably this is just a, a minimum of 30 minute uh, live streaming, yes? Or a maximum of, uh, I don't know, maybe an hour or less? Yeah, it should be. Yes, guys, it depends on how you ask questions to me. If you have some questions, don't hesitate to ask please feel free to ask questions related to our topic today, everyone. Okay, yes, guys. So anyway, the question is, uh, as an English teacher or as a teacher who wants to uh, teach our students, especially when it comes to pronunciation, what do you think can help us to do this? I mean, what thing can help teachers teach pronunciation, everyone? Do you have any idea? Do you have any idea, everyone? No idea? <laughs> no idea at all? <laughs> well, I hope you have, everyone, because I will be waiting no for your opinions. <laughs> oh my God, what's that? Give me a second. All right, here we go. Hi, JK Young, 2017 and 2019. Welcome to my live stream. Jennifer Avalos, good evening. Jennifer, how are you? Yes, I am live today, everyone from France. Yes, guys, I'm actually live, but this won't be a long live streaming, everyone. Yes, 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 yes. So, yeah, um, in, in tonight's live streaming, this will be a short streaming, maybe uh, 30 minutes or more, but an hour is the maximum, everyone. So I hope you guys will have fun and at the same time, we'll be learning at this live streaming tonight, everyone. And if you have questions, please feel free to ask questions, okay? Don't hesitate to ask everyone because it's very important in learning. Yes, that is very important. Give me a second. JK, I'm super excited to celebrate Halloween. What are you gonna be this Halloween 2019? Wow, that's great to hear that, JK. Well, I am also excited for that, but I think here in France, we don't really have much about Halloween, you know? Um, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna spend my time with family. I mean, just, uh, you know, have, uh, I mean, enjoy my vacation. Yes, because I'm on vacation right now for two weeks and the first week is almost over. Yes, and the next week will be the last week for my vacation. Yes. How are you, Jennifer Avalas? How are you today? JK Young, in which country are you from again? JK Young? So nice. Oh, yeah, JK Young. But JK Young, you are, uh, I think you are in an English speaking country right now, right? JK Young, in which country are you now? I'm going to be a vampire. I'm from Ukraine. Oh! <laughs> You're going to be a vampire. That's interesting, huh? <laughs> well, so yeah, when I was actually, when I was in Philippines, uh, I used to, I used to attend a lot of, you know, like a Halloween party. We need to wear, we needed to wear some Halloween costumes. And there was a kind of, there was even a kind of contest, everyone, you know, wearing different uh, Halloween costumes and you will be awarded in case you are chosen to be or to have the best question during that day. But here in France, I haven't heard of, but I don't know, there might be some, but I haven't heard about it. Yes. <clears throat> well, anyway, 
<clears throat> Sorry, guys, just a second. I really don't know about um, about StreamYard, guys. I'm not sure if uh, StreamYard is working well <laughs> with this live streaming because this is my first time to use StreamYard after I got monetized, everyone. So, yeah. Anyway, welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Well, anyway, for today's live streaming, guys, we will be talking about something okay something uh this is useful for teachers i mean english teachers and also for students who are learning english now for teachers everyone how can we teach students to begin mastering the art of pronunciation any idea everyone even if you're not a teacher even if you're not teachers maybe you can say or you can express your opinion how can teachers actually teach students to begin mastering the art of pronunciation any idea any idea um hi martis rich welcome to my live stream i like to be a wicked vampire and i watch the promos of baby my babysitters a vampire from 2012 and i want to drink a glass of water oh i thought you would you would drink a glass of blood <laughs> jk young 2017 2019 all right guys so going back to the topic everyone well, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy the topic tonight. This is a bit serious, but yeah, I'm, I just would like to share this to you guys, since you know um, some of my students are actually asking some pronunciation lesson. Yeah, so um, yeah, again, the question is, everyone, if you have any idea, please feel free to actually comment below or write your opinions in the chat room. Yes, guys. So the question is, how can teachers teach students to begin? mastering the art of pronunciation any idea martis rich do you have any idea martis rich <clears throat> any idea by the way guys all the people who are here tonight i will be giving you something later this is just w h you know w h question yes everyone what is your answer hi killer whale welcome to my live stream how are you killer whale how are you thank you so much <clears throat> not sure says laughing out loud oh no idea so maybe we can ask killer whale four case we love rain thank you so much for coming how are you hello here with you how are you good day everyone i'm very good for case we love rain thank you so much for coming everyone so yeah the question guys i was actually asking because today's live streaming this is very helpful this is actually helpful for teachers or even for students who are actually the teachers are teaching pronunciation and students are learning pronunciation so the question guys how can we teach students to begin mastering the art of pronunciation do you have any idea killer whale any idea about the question? Ruby's born family. Hello, welcome to my live stream. Avalos Jennifer, teacher, I'm listening here. Yes, but I would love everyone if you can also express your opinion to the question. Yes, everyone, any idea? Ruby's hello, yes, you greet each other there. Thank you so much, everyone. <clears throat> Just a moment, guys. Marcus Rich, okay, just a moment. So please feel free to express your opinion about the question, okay? The question was, the question was, how can teachers actually teach students to begin mastering the art of pronunciation, okay? So I'll get back to you. I'll be reading your answers or your opinions after, okay? Just a moment. All right, so let's have you the, in the chat room. Let's read people's opinion. Marcus Rich said, I think when they start learning speaking some words, okay? So you mean to say we can teach them when they start learning speaking some words, okay? We can teach them the correct pronunciation, uh-huh. And Abelis Jennifer said, I don't know teacher. I will for any idea from others, okay? Um, yes. How about Ruby's born family? No. Oh my god, yes, no, because this is actually StreamYard. Oh my god, I really, <laughs> I really don't know. But I don't know. 
well you can just uh anyway let's just do it maybe later because i've heard also when you actually go live and it's uh, you just started live streaming so usually you can't see any advertisements so maybe later but i don't know i have no idea everyone because you know this is my first time to use the streaming yeah but uh, i mean stream yard but it doesn't matter anyway <laughs> No worries, your beast born family. Thank you so much. Well, yes, guys, how can teachers teach students to begin mastering the art of pronunciation? So according to Marcus Rich, when the children or when the students actually start to speak some words, so that means to say this is for kids, right? Of course, that's very essential opinion. That's a very essential idea. But anyway, there is, you know, to teach students to begin mastering the art of pronunciation, there is a very helpful tool that can be used in classrooms everyone for teachers out there if you guys want to know about the ways or the very useful tool and how to teach or how to make students master the art of pronunciation this is going to be helpful for you everyone yes sayang sayang <laughs> wow i work again hope you won't take back my points i'm late hi everyone welcome Welcome to my live stream, shine in, man. <laughs> Ruby's born <foreign> family. <laughs> Sorry, guys, a moment. Guys, really, this is my first time to use StreamYard. I mean, after I got monetized, so I have no idea at all how it works. But anyway, yes, guys, here we go. So, shine in, man. The question was. How can we teach students to begin mastering the art of pronunciation? And I was saying that there is a very helpful tool that can be used in classrooms, everyone, especially for teachers. You know, this is very helpful for teachers to uh, to make students master the art of pronunciation. So do you have any idea what tool it is? Any idea, everyone? Nobody wants to answer? <laughs> Nobody wants to answer everyone. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for everyone's answer. It looks like everyone is just looking at my face right now. <laughs> wow. Okay. Shine Amen said position of. What is that shine amen? I think there's something wrong with this word. Position of lips is fine. Position of lips. And what is that word shine amen? Is it a typo again? <laughs> no worries, shine amen. It's okay, no problem. Armani Akahat's 90s jump man, jump man Smith. Hello, welcome to my live stream. <laughs> Thank you for your very uh, useful statement, Armani. Welcome. How are you, Armani? <clears throat> well, yes, a shine amen. Position of the tongue and lips is very important. And how can students practice that? Or how can teachers actually make students practice the correct position of the lips and the tongue, everyone? Well, as you can see through the topic, okay, the topic of the live streaming today, you can see there IPA phonetic sounds. We are going to have pronunciation. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. Yes, we're going to have pronunciation because the topic, yes, everyone, is all about <clears throat> IPA consonant symbols in English. Yes, guys. So IPA symbols, guys, or IPA consonant symbols in English. This is a very useful tool to actually make the students master, you know, master pronunciation. Now, when we say IPA, what does it mean? Any idea, everyone? What's the meaning of IPA? Whoever gives the correct answer first, I'm going to give you one WH question. Come on, guys. So let me just write here. Start. Where is that? Okay. Oh, oh, oh okay. A moment. There's a problem with my screen. Oh, here we go. All right. Hi, Christine Tampos. Welcome to my live stream. Yes, Tom, Shine, Amen. That's correct. So, yes, guys, the question is what's the meaning of IPA? Anyone who gives the answer first is going to get one WH from teacher. Okay, here we go. Start. 
what do we mean by IPA? Because IPA, guys, is a very helpful tool to make students master the pronunciation. So what do you mean by IPA, everyone? Any idea? Oh, it's called, oh. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. It looks like StreamYard is really loading. I don't know. All right. Yes, uh, Shine Amen said um, IPA means International Phonetic Alphabet. And that is correct. Wow, you are very smart, Shine Amen. Yes, everyone, when you say IPA, I, I, P, A, this actually means International Phonetic Alphabet. Now, this is very helpful, everyone. This is a very helpful tool to be used in classrooms, especially for English teachers who wish to actually teach students to begin mastering the art of pronunciation. This is very helpful, everyone. Now, you might think, how can I, you know, the first time you look at the pronunciation symbol, you might even think, what does all these actually mean or you can say what do all these mean everyone how can this help me as a teacher or how can this help students as uh, you know as learners when, when it comes to pronunciation so yes you might hear this kind of question now one good reason there is one good reason everyone how, why we should understand or why students should understand the IPA symbols okay what do you think is the reason? Any idea? People in the chat room right now, any idea? Live in UK with bots, welcome to my live stream. Uh, shine, amen, typing pronounce the word on Google is easier. Typing pronounce, uh, you mean to say typing the pronunciation of the word on Google is easier? Say it again, sis. <laughs> now I was asking Marcus Rich, the question is, as you know, IPA symbols is very helpful, right? It's a very helpful tool for teachers to actually teach students master the art of pronunciation. So the question is, what is the good reason why IPA is very helpful? What is the good reason? What is the good reason why IPA or studying or mastering or knowing or understanding IPA symbols is very helpful. Shine Amen said, yes, it takes you to videos for pronouncing the word. Yes, a true, Shine Amen. But, you know, in, uh, in many countries, or there are still some countries nowadays, which or wherein people still don't have any access to technology. So, yeah, so I think these actually this these people still have uh, the the traditional way of learning that means to say they still use the printed you know the printed resources and uh, printed resources what are those martis rich said i think it's because they might pronounce different meaning i don't know <laughs> Marcus Kitchen, hello, welcome to my live stream. Thank you so much, everyone. You guys, you guys haven't answered my question. Huh? I have sent a question here in the chat room. <laughs> Vloggers hang out. You haven't answered my question. Okay. <clears throat> Shiny Man said, and don't forget the amazing Forvo dictionary. Okay, I'm lazy. <laughs> yes, Shiny Man, you have said it, okay? You have just mentioned it, Shiny Man. Yes, one good reason, everyone, to understand or to learn or to familiarize or to know the IPA is that many dictionaries, everyone, many dictionaries actually use the IPA symbols. I P A symbols. I P A means International Phonetic Alphabet, right? That is the meaning. Let me let me just check my my magic book here. Okay, so that's I P A consonant symbols in English. So that's 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 uh, that's the thing that we're gonna have 
in today's live streaming, everyone. So I hope you can have fun and at the same time learn or familiarize these different phonetic symbols. I mean, IPA consonant symbols, because I guess I have introduced to you some vowel, cons um, how can I say, vowel phonetic symbols or vowel sounds in the past. Now, this time, this will only be about consonant symbols, everyone. Okay. Yes. Let me check the chat room for a moment. <clears throat> Cleaning Queen, hello, welcome to my live stream, Cleaning Queen, everyone. Cleaning Queen is actually Joby May, everyone. Welcome, my dear, how are you? <coughs> so nobody wants to express their opinion anymore. So yeah, IPA, everyone, IPA, consonant symbols in English. This will be our topic for tonight's streaming. Yeah, Shine Eamon said, Forvo is an audio dictionary, a must to look at as it involves many english pronunciations around the world around the world maybe out of topic i know <laughs> yes you are advertising something shiny and i think jose b vlog i think this is um filipina in uk because i think you changed your name right jose b vlog hello welcome to my live stream cleaning queen thumbs up thank you so much everyone Peep Magnet, good evening. How are you, Peep Magnet? Thank you so much for coming. Uh, Shiny Man, you are amazing tonight. Yes, everyone is amazing tonight, everyone. And thank you so much for coming. Yes, this won't really be a long streaming, guys. Thank you so much. Nagbayad. Okay, no problem, Ruby's Born family. Sorry, guys, a moment. Okay. <clears throat> Long time no see, shine, amen, from Ruby's Horn family. All right. So, yes, guys. So, we were talking about IPA consonant symbols, okay? Consonant symbols in English. So, this is very useful tool for teachers out there who would like to teach students, actually master the art of pronunciation. And this is also very helpful for students. Why? Students should understand this. And why students should learn or familiarize their these things or even maybe memorize these things because a lot of dictionaries everyone use the IPA symbols to actually you know give the pronunciation well of course in some electronic dictionaries it's very easy you just type the word and you can hear the correct, correct pronunciation but you know with the traditional way we use the printed dictionary and you might be wondering oh what are these symbols here why teacher some students would say teacher why does uh, why does this word have a certain symbol beside what is this i don't understand well for some people even for teachers they might not even know what these things mean they might even think what are these things and how can these things help me well it's very important everyone because that is always written in dictionary especially printed dictionaries everyone so in tonight's streaming everyone i'll just be giving you some pronunciation symbols or phonetic symbols which i actually think very confusing for many of my esl students even to my french students yeah french students japanese students korean students yes for these um consonant phonetic symbols guys these are usually very confusing for them so that's why i decided to have this for tonight's live stream. So I hope you guys can also share your ideas in, in case you have or your, you know, your intelligence about this topic, everyone. Yeah, so here we go. Let's check the chat room for a moment. Hello, Neri Goblik. Welcome to my live stream. Life in UK Phonetic Teacher is good even for little children to easily learn to read. Yeah, so true, but you know, children, it's hard for them to learn the phonetic symbols. Usually, phonetic symbol starts in middle school. They already have. I'm not sure in elementary, but yes, it's very important. But then again, for children, I mean, very little ones, I mean, for preschool, the phonetic symbol is not very ideal for them to learn pronunciation. For preschool children, the ideal thing for them is audio. It means to say they are more on listening. They listen and follow. So they are more on listening and re repetition so re listen and repeat so they try to listen to something listen to correct pronunciation or the correct sound of the word then they will follow how to say it uh shine even jen work work 
N word again. Haha, <laughs> kidding. I hate grammar. <laughs> what are you talking about, shiny? <laughs> Christine Chambos, okay, so you're not going to Okay, that's great. I love to mommy na lang yung Robbie's Farm family. <laughs> it's okay, Valen at Batman. <clears throat> All right. So, yes, guys. So, tonight, guys, these are the pronunciation. Uh, pronunciation symbols or IPA consonant symbols that we will be having all right I'm gonna show you here on screen okay here we go so these these two IPA consonant symbols everyone are you familiar with these two anyone here who is familiar because most of my French students are actually very confused when they pronounce these two consonant symbols or IPA consonant symbols. Any idea, everyone? Let me check the chat room. Keep working this live, but at the same time, you are learning a lot from teacher, right? Thank you so much, Jennifer Avalos. Yes, I was thinking of the phonetic sounds, laughing out loud. Yeah, that's right. Phonetic sounds, <clears throat> live in UK. I will never be able to speak American English of a three-year-old kid. I feel miserable. <laughs> you don't need to feel miserable, shiny men. Everyone needs time to learn something. Yes, and everyone has different, you know, pace of learning. Oh gosh, I don't have a clue of any phonetic symbols. Laughing out loud. Yes, guys, that's why we are here tonight. And I'm introducing these pronunciation symbols, guys. Moment. <clears throat> Okay, so the first two pronunciation symbols here, guys. Any idea? No idea at all? Nobody has an idea? Nobody, nobody but you? Nobody, nobody but me? <laughs> Shine Amen. Do you have any idea what's the difference between the two IPA symbols and why most French students actually are confused between the two pronunciation symbols? Shine Amen, the only one I know is the upside down. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing you know. TH sound, it's actually not TH sound, everyone. It's not. It's not TH sound. Trisha's motivational moment. Hey, welcome to my live stream, Trisha's motivational moment. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, live in UK with bus, S and TH sound? No. Everyone, whoever gives the correct answer to the question, I'm going to give you one WH, everyone. Okay, so yes, guys, I'm here to give a lesson. And at the same time, I want to help, you know, other creators as well to achieve their WH, everyone. Yes, yeah, so what is the difference between these two pronunciation symbols on the screen? Any idea? Nobody? Oh, I guess everyone is busy right now checking something, right? <laughs> huh? Hey, life. Yes. Okay, so here we go. Let me just show you something. So you have that symbol that's actually <clears throat> Arabic. No, it's not Arabic, everyone. Okay, this, these two IPA symbols on the screen, everyone. I'm not good at it. <laughs> no problem, Martin Suresh. <clears throat> these two pronunciation symbols or IPA symbols, everyone, are very different. But many of my French students are actually very confused. <laughs> Anna Williams, hello, 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 101 Food Travel, welcome to my live stream, how are you 101 Food Travel, thank you for coming, <clears throat> no idea guys, no idea at all, so maybe I should give you some words as example, which actually have these two IPA symbols or consonant sounds, right? Would you like to have more examples or some examples? I mean, Christine Tampos, yeah, I was wondering the same, laughing out loud. <laughs> Busy again. No problem. <laughs> no problem. One one could travel. Guys, thank you so much for coming, everyone. I really appreciate your presence tonight. Nobody wants to answer. Abel Jennifer said, I wonder what 
is the word on the screen. Ha ha, I thought it's Arabic letter too. No, it is international phonetic alphabet consonant symbols in English, everyone. Yes, these are phonetic symbols. Phonetic symbols, it means to say the pronunciation symbols of some English words. So these are just consonant pronunciation symbols okay so let me give you some examples and then you might be able to guess what these symbols are okay let me give you examples i'm gonna give you two words here okay here we go okay look at the screen everyone haha <laughs> shiny man envious <laughs> look at the screen everyone i hope you guys can see look at the screen you have there the two words and these two words have different pronunciation when it comes to the vowel sound, right? <laughs> one one for trouble. Yes, that's why you're here, everyone, to learn English. It doesn't matter whether you're good or you're not. That's why you are here. You wouldn't be here if you were already good. And yes, very smart, everyone. That's actually, which is the SH, okay? And the other one is what is the ch so for example you have here the word share and the other word is chair okay chinese or japanese look easier to read <laughs> yes guys so you can see these two words here you have here the word chair share guys is this symbol this pronunciation symbol share share which share for example i have food you don't have food so i'm going to share it to you share okay share so that's the sh and that is for this symbol if you see this symbol everyone i'm not sure if you can see let me check my stream yard this symbol oh my god it's not very good the first one guys the first one if you see that symbol that actually is for the sh okay and the other symbol this one is actually for the ch okay so the first word share is this symbol okay oh my god this one and for the chair is for this symbol all right yes guys so that's the difference between the two phonetic symbols hello jpg welcome to my live stream dana putra welcome thank you so much for coming everyone wish it love but the rock of friends that you are of the lamba free lamb Free Lamba. Yes, I can actually teach French, but uh, not the pronunciation. Everyone, <laughs> I can teach some pronounce um, French expressions, but maybe in the other uh, session, guys. JPG, welcome to my live stream. Shine, shine. <laughs> oh, see, look, Dana Putra Yuda is trying to write the pronunciation of the name of Shine Amen in phonetic symbol, but it's not really uh, correct, not perfect, Dana Putra Yuda. You can try it again. Live in the Kingdom with Buzz, no problem, no problem. <laughs> Eat dinner, no problem, guys. This won't really be a long stream. How long have I been live? Okay, 30 minutes now. So I think we only have 30 minutes more, I hope. Yes, guys. So yes, that is the first phonetic phonetic symbol everyone you have their sh for example you say shh okay like when you say silent to people you say shh that's the symbol okay so for example the word share okay the first one you have there the word share okay and the other sound the t and the big like that s but long one that is the ch that is for example for the chair okay like you can with buzz nagasa <laughs> no problem everyone try again then i try you that yes everyone so yeah once again you have their s big s it's not really s but yeah that symbol is for sh and the other with t is actually for ch okay so for example the words i showed you the words here the words share and chair okay yes so now i'm going to ask you everyone i would like you to give your own example everyone okay whoever gives his or her own example of the words that has or the, the words that have or the words which have <clears throat> these phonetic symbols i'm gonna give 
one wh okay guys so here we go everyone so please give me examples of these two phonetic symbols everyone okay whoever gives first i'm gonna give you one wh all right start nobody is interested then a putra is laughing out loud i gave an example already uh-huh shiny man i didn't see your example that means to say you need to give another mm -hmm. i think it's one one for trouble eh? <laughs> wow one one for trouble uh -huh. do you think one one for trouble guys has given the correct example or some correct examples how about the others Amugas for more <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, everyone. Nobody wants to. Aha, uh... uh -huh. Christine Temples, your answer is actually hidden, maybe because of the word which is uh, which is bad. Yeah, so you should choose another Christine Temples. Wow, guys, look, one one food travel, everyone, or Anna Williams, that's her real name, has given a lot of examples, everyone, such a smart student, yes. So for the SH, the first pronunciation symbol, that's actually, for example, shadow, yes, shadow, that's SH, and for the second pronunciation symbol, that is chat, very good example, shadow and chat. So the first one is for the other sand and the other as well. Chart and shock, yes. Shine Eamon said, shine and chime. I guess I mistook about chime. Uh huh. Clean queen show and church. Shine Eamon, shower and chain. Then I will try you the cheer and cheer. Very good, everyone. So you see, you have. I can't see myself. Okay, here we go. For the first sound, guys, the first one for the SH sound, I'm gonna read them for the SH sound, okay? Here we go. Let me just, uh, give me a second, guys. I need to uh, write on the screen. I think it's better if I put it in the chat room. Give me a second, everyone. You guys don't mind. I'm gonna put it in the chat room. It's better. Because on the screen, I put it everything that way. Or maybe I'm going to put it here in my magic book so it will appear on the screen. Here we go. All right. So I'm not yet very professional, guys, with the live streaming in this kind of thing. All right. Here we go. So for that symbol, everyone, I'm going to read the examples which are given. And these are correct. Okay. Yes. For SH, which is that symbol on the screen right now. You have the words, you have the words from Anna, shadow, you have shadow, shock, you also have shine, show, shower, sheer, and shine. Yes, the same thing with shine, amen. The word, the name of shine, amen, is a very good example for that pronunciation symbol, everyone. Yes, that's great. So I think I'm going to give the 1WH to 101 for travel, okay? Because 101 for travel got it right first okay great job one one foot travels such a great student all right <clears throat> now let's proceed to the next one next one the next next symbol is this one okay let me just put it here on Streamyard. oh i i'm not going to use Streamyard again for my live stream guys it's very complicated i mean uh, you know okay here we go so for the next symbol is this yeah so I'm going to read the examples given here. Yep, yep, yep. Careful teacher, copyright. Copyright for what? Copyright for StreamYard? What are you talking about, Shine Amen? All right, we have here the examples from Anna Williams. You have here for this sound, T and the big S. This actually for CH, for example chat okay chat and you also have here another example from oh, it's very difficult okay, here we go 
Another example from Anna also, chart. And we also have church. And we also have chain and cheer and chain. Yes, that's it. My name, Shine Amen. Uh-huh. <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> You're amazing, Shine Amen. All right, everyone. So that's the difference between the two words. Because for my French students, everyone usually... I don't know, maybe because of their language, because, you know, the CH sound everyone in French, actually the pronunciation is SH. For example, your name is Charlene, CH, okay? The name is Charlene, and they usually say Charlene, yes? That's how they pronounce it. Chewing gum, yes? Chewing gum, that's very good, but it's not allowed in the classroom, fine name and chewing gum. <laughs> Charut copyright good, yes. Cheers, yes, everyone. Cheers, that's a very good example for the CH sound, and that is the pronunciation symbol. So if you see these symbols, everyone, in the dictionary or somewhere related to pronunciation, now you know what these sounds are okay so you have these two sounds if you see them you know how to or you know what to say maybe you, you don't know in case you know your children or maybe your students for some of you there who are teachers might you know ask you oh what are these symbols then you know how to explain to them all right so that the first one first one is actually sh for example shock yes and the second one is actually the ch for example chart so that is the difference between the two sounds okay now let's proceed to the next sound everyone here we go okay i hope you guys can see that okay here are the two yes champion very good that's a very good example jennifer abelos that's for ch sound yes also charot yes it's ch sound charot okay now we have here two other <laughs> Two other sounds, everyone. Any idea what these sounds are or what these symbols are? What What's the sound of these symbols, everyone? Any idea? Who will give the first answer? We'll give another one WH question from teacher. Laughing out loud. Here we are, Japanese. No, it's not Japanese. It's English pronunciation symbol. Shine, amen. Come on, guys. We only have 20 minutes and the show is going to end. A O N A O N A O A. No, it's not O, everyone. Wow, Shine Amen is very smart. Yes, guys. So, actually, yes, these two pronunciation symbols, guys, are actually for TH, okay? TH, that's for TH, everyone. But you have to know that TH has two different sounds. Owl and ant, no. Uh, TH guys have two different ways, you know, to pronounce that, okay? So one way is the voiceless and the other way is voiced, okay? So yeah, knowing the pronunciation symbol, we can also distinguish the difference between the two sounds, whether one is voiceless or the other is voiced. Yes, no Google, Shiny Man. <laughs> There and that, a big is annoying. Uh, there and that, well, this is a great example. And now I will ask you about that example later. Okay, so you have these two symbols, guys. So actually, the first symbol, I'm going to show you one by one. Okay, the first symbol, everyone, which is uh, the same shape as your tongue, if you uh, pronounce the word. Okay, I'm going to write it here. Give me a second. All right. So for TH, we have voiceless and also voiced sound, okay? So for the voiceless, that should be this symbol, voiceless, that one. So you have to show your, your tongue a little, like that. So you see, it's, it's similar to the shape of your tongue when you pronounce TH. For example, thin, okay? For example, the word Thin, or for example, I'm going to give you two, two words later, okay? And the other symbol, which is this one. Oh, my God, it's very complicated, huh? Which is this one. I'm going to do it one by one so that it will be clear. And this moment. 
And this symbol is the, okay, the first one, guys, this is the voiceless, okay? That means, when you say voiceless, it means that the only air is produced. There is no vibration here, no vibration. But when you say the other sound, this one, the other sound, here we go. This sound, guys, this symbol is actually the voiced one. When you say voiced, it means to say you're not just producing air from your mouth, but also there is vibration here in your what? In your throat. There is vibration. You say, like what um, Anna gave as an example. For example, the word that. That. So you see the TH sound is actually voiced to everyone. So you see the first one, which is this, is voiceless. Okay. And the other one is voiced. Okay. Now I have here <clears throat> some words as example. I'm not sure if you know, maybe you know. So these two sounds, let's go back to the two sounds. I have here examples, everyone. I'm not sure if you know the difference between the two. Whoever knows the difference, I'm going to give you one WH. Okay, here we go. What's the difference between the two words? Oh, Anna, no, I didn't use it exceptionally. <laughs> Turn off Google. <laughs> not this time that it might happen. <laughs> Nana Putra, oh, we will be valedictorian. Yes, Charut. Yes, guys. What's the difference between the two words? Shine, amen. That and th oh, I didn't know those words. Shine, amen. That and what's the what's the word? Shine, amen. Ah, I think Shine, amen is trying to say about this word. This one, this word, thought is voiceless. Okay, but this one. Mm -hmm. That is voiced before and after. The first one and the second one, okay? How are they different? This year, Pasaha, I will just listen. <laughs> Hello, Roxana Oikawa. Welcome to my live stream. Thank you so much for coming. Yes, guys, so any idea what's the difference between the two? Well, these two words are actually related, everyone. But what's the difference? The first one is silent. Silent, you mean you don't pronounce it. <laughs> Present and past. <laughs> thought, yes, yeah, shine, even that's correct. So once again, guys, with this word thought, the TH there is voiceless, okay? Thought. And this word that, the TH is the voiced one, okay? So I'm giving the example based on the pronunciation symbol, which I have given you. The first one. First one is the voiceless. The second one is the voiced, okay? For example, thought, and this one is that. So there is vibration. You see the J, something like that, that is the voiced one. But the thing round with the thing in the middle, that is the voice of us one, okay? Pass the shine. Hello, Miss Roxanne. Marcus, I am with Ban in English. <laughs> The second one is same as that. Uh huh. The second one is the same as that. Yes, that's correct. Shine. Uh, thank you so much, Roxanne Oikawa. Welcome back to my welcome. Back. Welcome to my channel, Roxanne Oikawa. Big shout out to you. Breath is voiceless. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah, so Anna Williams actually got it right. Thank you so much, Roxanne Oikawa. Oikawa, are you from Japan? Roxanne Oikawa, your, your, your name actually sounds like Japanese name. Shine Amen has been asking uh, Japanese uh, for many minutes now. <laughs> Oikawa is from Japan, everyone. If you're interested, you can check out Roxanne Oikawa. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, so one one could travel again, got the answer, guys. So I'm giving her the one wh everyone oh my god thank you so much roxana ikawa that's very thoughtful of you all right yes yes and anna williams that's very good answer anna williams so again guys the difference between the two well these two words are actually related but the first one the first one is actually the voiceless and that is the noun form okay for example breath you say breath okay Take a deep breath, okay? So that is used as a noun, and that is voiceless. The TH there is voiceless. But the second word, 
that is used as a verb, you say breathe, breathe, okay? You need to breathe deeply. You see the difference? So breath is a noun, breathe is a verb. So you see, the first word has the voiceless TH, while the second one has the voiced TH, okay? So these two words have this or these symbols, everyone, okay? So I hope you guys understand it. Now, I would like everyone to give me your own examples. Anna Williams, you're welcome. I like your pronunciation. Oh, thank you so much, Roxanne Oikawa. Thank you so much. You're a Filipina living in Japan. Yes. Actually, I have some friends who also live in Japan. And uh, I have had a lot of Japanese students. I uh, actually had. I had a lot of Japanese students when I was in Philippines because I used to uh, teach ESL when I was in Philippines. And a lot of my students, maybe like 30% uh, of my students were Japanese. Yes. Roxanne Oikawa. So you are from Japan. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Now, for these two sounds, everyone, uh, remember that fans have got bad mark when copying me. <laughs> I will be smart today. Yes, great job, Anna, Anna Williams. Cleaning queen, think and those. Very good. Now, cleaning queen, guys, has given her own example. You see, cleaning queen, let me just go to StreamYard. It's complicated to use StreamYard, guys, and opening the YouTube as well. Okay, you see the example here? breathe uh, you have the breath and breathe and you also have the example from cleaning queen all right you have you also have here here think and those so the first one think is the voice less th now the second one those is actually the voiced th all right and so anna bright broad <laughs> Right, brought. Well, I think this is only the T sound, Anna. This T sound, that's not TH sound. Ruxan said, How I wish my daughter can join your class, but the problem is the time difference. Oh, yeah, Ruxan Okawa. But anyway, maybe I can, I can try go live streaming earlier as well. Sometimes I go live at 4 p.m. my time. I think this, uh, I don't know if what time it is in Japan because right now it's actually um, 7 26 p.m. here in France. And sometimes I go live at 4 p.m. my time. But usually I go live at 6 p.m. Yes. Haha. <laughs> this and these. Well, yes, it's a very good example, Anna Williams. But this example or these examples of yours, this and these, the TH there are the same, okay? They have voiced, okay? Voiced sound, okay? The TH here is voiced sound. So you say this and these but the difference between the two words here is the s and z with the singular you say the first one you say this so that's s sound the ending is s well the second word you say these so s sound is not really s anymore that's a z sound that's the difference between the two but the th they have the same pronunciation all right yes that's, that's it it's 2 23 a.m here oh 2.23 a.m. Oh, I think 4 p.m. is midnight in Japan, right, Roxanne? Oh. Well, anyway, guys, if you guys are interested to learn English or something like that, you can actually comment down below or you can send me a um, private message on my Facebook page, Kathy's Angels. Guys, you can visit my Facebook page, Kathy's Angels, and you can uh, ask or uh, give some suggestions or if you have some inquiries about English lessons, you can just go there, all right? Anna Williams, okay, I'll give another. Yes, guys, and so now this time, this time, guys, I would like everyone, where is my powerful notebook? Okay, here we go. So I would like everyone to give the example now for the TH and TA, yeah, TH, which is voiceless and voice sound, all right? Whoever gives the example first, gonna get another one WH, okay? But you have to wait for my start signal. Yes, thank you so much, Roxanne Oikawa. So how old is your son, Roxanne Oikawa? I'm wondering. All right, guys, give your own example now using the TH sound, which is voice less one and the voiced one. Nobody wants to answer?
You have three daughters. Uh huh. Okay. Your three daughters are they like um, elementary students or uh, what? High school? This and that. Well, as I told you, at thirteen. Uh huh. Okay, this is an example, Roxanne. 13, 8. <laughs> well, Anna, everyone, you need to give examples two together. Okay, if it's not two together, I will not give you the one W H. It should be two together. One is voiceless, and the other one should be voiced T H. Okay. Wow, 13, 8, and 4. Wow, very good age gap, I think. Wow. Well, I have had a lot of uh, students who are kids, actually, Roxanne Oikawa, who are studying English, especially the Taiwanese students I have online. They are seven years old and 10 years old. But uh, it's kind of challenging for me to teach kids, to be honest, <laughs> because I'm not very used to teaching kids. I usually teach adults. <clears throat> okay, we have Cleaning Queen said, so Anna Williams has answered this and that but these two words have the same sound th have the same sound which is voiced one you say this and that so the same voiced anna so i'm not giving you the one wh you have to do it again another try now we have cleaning queen bath and others that's very good cleaning queen so i'm giving the one wh to cleaning queen everyone that's juby me everyone cleaning queen everyone is juby me Yes, guys, thank you so much for being here. So, yes. <clears throat> now, Christine, uh, Shine Eman said, wait, wrong. <laughs> yes, Anna. Shine Eman said, this and thought. Oh, thoughtful leaves. Yes, very good example, Shine Eman. Now, the first one, this, this is the voiced TH. And the second word, thought, thoughtful leaves, is the voiceless one. That's a very good example. And you have there, them. Them is the voiced one, and thunder is the voiceless one. Okay, congrats. Yes, Roxanne. Okay, teacher, I will sleep now. See you next time. Bye, everyone. Yes, see you. See you next time, Roxanne. I hope to see you again in the live streaming. Thank you so much for being thoughtful. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful sleep. I hope to see you again. Have a great evening. Bye bye. All right, Anna Williams, Shine Eman, good job. Yes, that's a great job, everyone. So you see, you can do it. So once again, the first symbol is the voiceless one. The second symbol is the voiced one. All right. So I hope you guys understand this or these uh, pronunciation symbol. All right. Now let's have the last one, everyone. How long have I been live now? Oh, we only have three minutes, everyone. Oh, my God. Now the next one. Here we go. The next pronunciation symbol is this. What is this sound, everyone? What is this sound? Guys, you should check out Roxanne Oikawa. She's from Japan, everyone. That is quick stay more. Oh, yeah, Marcus Rush. I wish I could stay more. Yeah, but usually one hour, I think, is ideal for, uh, yes. But we will see if we can stay more. This is the last anyway. I actually budgeted the time for this lesson. So this is the last pronunciation symbol for today. Na, why na, Anna? Shine Eman said Ing. What is Ing, Shine Eman? I think you need to remove one letter in that answer of yours, Shine Eman. You need to actually um, change, remove one letter there. Martis said, Thing. Oh, there are more people here. Oh, yeah, I would love to stay. Uh, Anna said E-N. Nope. Martis Kitchen said N-G. Yes, this is very good, Martis Kitchen. So this pronunciation symbol, everyone, is actually for N-G sound, okay? That's for N-G sound. Let me just put Martis Rush's answer. So that is for NG sound, everyone. This symbol is for NG sound, okay? For example, for the word what? Okay, give your example with the NG sound. <laughs> yes, Martin's rich. <laughs> Come on. Why is Shine Amen suddenly silent? Oh, Martin's rich got it. Running. Yes, very good example. Okay. 
running. You see, NG, running. Clean, cleaning queen said, thing, cooking. Sorry, guys, excuse me. Nagging, sweating, king, coming. Yes, all the NG sound, guys, okay? All the NG sound, actually, the pronunciation symbol, pronunciation symbol is this one okay this symbol if you see this in the dictionary or maybe your students or your kids ask you what this symbol is all about then there's a time you can tell them that is ng sound my dear yes that's ng sound for example king yes because you know some students of mine they actually pronounce ng with a g sound for example instead of saying singing sing singing they say singing so it's very important for us ESL teachers or for English teachers to teach them the correct way of pronouncing words, everyone. Right? Joby May. Joby May is also an English teacher, everyone, to be honest. No bashing. What is no bashing? Who is bashing? Oh, yeah, bashing is a very good example. Bash. Cooking. No bashing. Just kidding. Yes. Washing. All the ing ing. That's ng, okay? Yes, everyone. Ng, then that is the pronunciation symbol. All right, who gave the, the, the correct example first? I think that's again Marcus Rich, right? Yes, Marcus Rich gave the word running. Okay, very good example you have here. NG sound, for example, here. Like, where's StreamYard again? StreamYard, StreamYard. It's very confusing, guys. I'm not going to use StreamYard again with this one because you know I need it for my visual for the letters and words. Okay, let me write all, oh, let me show your names here for the examples. You are a great student. Okay, Marcus Rich, she has running. Okay, you also have thing. Very good. You also have cooking. Very good. And you also have the verb from Anna, nagging. You see, nagging. And you also have sweating or sweating for British people. They emphasize T sound, but for Americans, T sounds like G, you know. And you also have king. Yes, king is a very good example as well. And you also have coming. Yes, very good. And Christine also gave example cooking. Yes, NG, guys. All the NG sound is that symbol. Bashing. No bashing. Yes, kidding, everyone. Yes. Washing. Yes. Cleaning queen, yes, teacher, same here. They pronounce the, they pronounce the same. Yeah. Hoi, Fanzo, hoi, hoi. Welcome, Fanzo. My God, you're late. I need to Fanzo. Anyway, Fanzo, I'm about to end the stream. I think I'm going to extend the stream only for like, uh, oh my God, only eight minutes more, guys. The stream is going to end, okay? Yes, guys. So, yes, that pronunciation symbol, which I have showed you, this one is for the, ng sound everyone so once again today's live streaming is all about phonetic symbols everyone i hope you guys learned something from today's streaming we actually talked about ipa consonant symbols in english ipa which means international phonetic alphabet everyone and that is for this symbol okay are you guys ready the first one give me your own example for the first sound come on start Zoom in. Oh, it's 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 enough, shiny man. Fanzo, you better not come. Come, teacher uses strange letters. <laughs> yes, better late than never, Jennifer. It's so true. Fanzo, come on, Fanzo. Everyone, give me an example. This is a little review. I'm not telling you what these symbols are anymore. You have to give me examples now for these two sounds. I would like you to give your examples following the two symbols, the first one and the second one. Your answer should be that way. It's not S, Martis. It's not TS. Oh my God, Martis Rich. What are these two pronunciation symbols, everyone? This is for coming, not coming. Oh yeah. Shame and change. Oh, yes, very good. Very good. Very good. Jennifer Avalon, guys, our very smart student has given the answer. Yes, Jennifer. Yeah, I'm going to give you one WH later. Okay. 
So please start creating more Jennifer Avalos. So yes, guys, so you see there, Jennifer Avalos has given an example for these two sounds. The first sound is the SH. The second sound is the CH, okay? that Those are the symbols for those two sounds, all right? So you have here, for example, first sound and the second, shame and change. Very good example, Jennifer Avalos. Oh my God, symbols, secret signs. Oh my God, yes. <clears throat> <clears throat> Bravo, Jennifer, full concentration. Yes, she is a great student. My gosh, don't have content t-shirt. Oh, come on, Jennifer Avalos. You have to keep on doing it. Keep on making contents, creating contents, Jennifer Avalos, okay? No giving up on YT, Jennifer Avalos. Yes, guys, so those are the great examples. All right, now let's have the next one. Who will give me the example for the next pronunciation symbols. Okay, here we go. And you need to wait for my start signal. Okay, ready, start. <laughs> shiny man, what happened to you, shiny man? You're still in the front. <laughs> shiny man, give your name, laughing out loud. Yes, yeah, shiny man has given his name, but only one. I wanted to, I wanted you to give two examples based on the sequence of the symbols I've given. Come on, you can do it. I've given the start signal. Nobody's interested anymore. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. We only have four minutes left. Nobody wants. Nobody wants it. It's late here, teacher, sorry. <laughs> oh, spelling shine amen, teacher. How do you spell teacher shine amen? Nobody wants to give an example? Come on, guys. I missed class today, sensei. Yes, Panzo. You need to give me, you need to give me your excuse letter, all right? Send it to me through email, Panzo, all right? Yes, and you will be forgiven. We're being absent for uh, a few times already, Panzo. Nobody wants to give the example? Oh my God, I feel like everyone is leaving now. All right, examples, nobody? Nobody, nobody but me? Nobody, nobody but me. Per email? Yes, by email, Panzo. Thick and thought. Ah, oh, these two words, Marcus Rich, has only one sound, which is the voiceless one. It's only voiceless, this one, the first sound. Only the first sound, the thick and thought, not the voiced one. Everything is voiceless, Marcus Rich. I would like you to give your own example, both, okay? Both sounds, the voiceless and the, the voiceless and the voiced one, yep. Thin. Fat, uh-huh, thin, yes, that is voiceless TH, but fat is T, it's not TH sound. Oh, come on, guys. <clears throat> Nobody. I just want to care. <clears throat> see. All right, we have here from Anna, think and thought. Oh, come on, Anna. Think is TH, which is voiceless, and thought is the same, TH, voiceless, Anna. Mm -hmm. Try again, Anna. Shine amen. Through and thought. 
Well, two words, shine, amen, they both have the same sound, th, voiceless. You say through and thought. So everything is voiceless. I would like you to give an example or give examples. One should be voiceless and the other is voiced. Because the first sound there in the symbol I've shown you in the screen, the first one is voiceless and the second one is voiced. Cleaning queen, thought brothers very good okay so you have thought and brothers you have cleaning queen's example i'm going to show it on the screen very good job cleaning queen is a great student uh-huh cleaning queen oh my god cleaning queen is amazing huh time voiceless <laughs> no anna time is t sound it's not th sound now listen everyone as i told you these two sounds here okay are th okay th sound but the difference only is the first one is the voiceless one and the second is the voiced okay for example like uh cleaning queen thought and brothers yes you see and where is the answer of uh, cleaning queen okay here we go let me show you the answer of cleaning queen this is the example thought the th there at the beginning is voiceless now brothers the th in the middle is the voiced one all right shine even looks like you are <laughs> i can't write off from <laughs> ah, and uh jennifer said thin and teeth no uh jennifer the two words here have the same sound th voiceless okay silence on the class in the class all right uh <laughs> the first symbol looks for me like a pill oh yeah fancy because this is the shape of your tongue you know the first symbol i'm going to show you again the first symbol that's actually the shape of your tongue you see your tongue you do like that yes yes yeah thought and brother the this there is vibration this voiced one and voiceless is only air you see the difference yes i hope you have seen difference okay let me check the chat room right now uh thin and worth oh a shiny man the same sound shiny man those two words that you have given actually have the same voiceless th have fun so true hi fellow bloggers welcome to my live stream thank you so much for coming no problem sis fellow bloggers i'm actually about to end my stream right now uh hi ruby follow and all from panzo zesty pudillo teacher how are you just saw the naughty of your life no problem zesty food thank you so much for coming and anna said throat and taught now anna throat is correct that is for th voiceless now taught is only for the t sound it doesn't have th sound anna all right yes guys so you have there th the first one th the first one i need to see myself by stream yard the first one th is voiceless the second one th is voiced one okay so i'm going to give example first this one and then this one okay yes because it looks like people are boy brain dead. <laughs> yes guys for example just like you always say for example, you say think, that's TH, voiceless. And you also have, for example, for example, mother, okay? Mother, think, TH, voiceless. Mother, TH, voiced. Shiny, and please, teacher, give us more examples. Oh, come on, guys. I have given another example. Would you like another example? <clears throat> more examples? let me write here where is that okay i'm gonna write here oh yeah father yes anna you're doing great anna father the t issue there is actually voice one yes very good so another example for example you have a thing that is voiceless th and you also have what else father like what uh Anna said, you see, thing is voiceless, father is the voiced one. 
Panza Shiny Min, you are not a first class student today. <laughs> How are you, Zesty Food? So, yes, guys, that's it. So, I hope you guys know all those and you understand all those pronunciation symbols. I mean, IPA symbols. Okay, let's have the last one. Come on, give your own example. Ready? Ready, ready, ready. Another, yes, very good example. Christine Tampos, that TH sound there is voiced one. Another, z, z, another. So there's voice here, that is vibration. There's vibration, so that's voice, T A shiny man, brain is low. <laughs> Guys, come on, give example for this symbol. Let me check if you remember what symbol is this. What sound of this symbol? What's the sound of that symbol? Come on, guys. So, yeah, guys, bagging. Uh-huh, bagging. Wow, can you explain, Anna? What do we mean by bagging? Yes, bagging is a very good example, Anna. Bagging, NG there. Yes, NG, the last two letters, NG, actually have that symbol on the screen. This symbol, the symbol, Panzo, is NG. NG sound, bagging, yes, ging. Uh-huh, hugging, yes, hugging, you have there, hugging, and bing, yes, very good, oh, sorry, oh my god, what's that, shine Eman. yes, bing, ng, laughing, yes, laughing, ing, ng, okay, I is not included, it's only ng, okay, ng symbol, so that's ng symbol, everyone, all right, so yeah, that's really it, so these are the confusing um, consonant IPA symbols for my students and I hope you guys have learned something from today's live streaming and you will be able to answer maybe your kids or your students questions in case they ask you these symbols meaning okay yes guys if you have any questions and suggestions please feel free to comment down below this live streaming and you can even send me email or uh, uh, visit my Facebook page Cafe's Angels if you guys don't have questions I think that's really it about my lunch. Oh my God, I extended more. Oh my God, this cuddling, loving, yes, thinking, very good. It was confusing to us as well, yes. But now you know everyone, you just need to review a little bit, okay? Yes, just review everyone. So I guess, oh my God, I have been live for almost one hour and 20 minutes now. Time is very fast, everyone. So let's just make it one hour and 20 minutes. So three minutes more. Oh my God, we always extend. Three minutes is three minutes now, everyone, okay? Yes, guys. So yes, that's really it. So pronunciation is very important for students who are learning English because as you know, it is one way that can make them actually communicate well. You need to have the correct pronunciation. Voiceless or voiced, it doesn't matter. Um, doesn't make a big difference with my French accent anyway. Well, it doesn't really matter probably, but you know, for some people who are learning English, especially pronunciation, you might be you might be asked, shiny man, oh shiny man, what's the difference between the two symbols here? So yes, guys, that's really the purpose of it. You just familiarize it. Kung pago voiceless good. You just need to familiarize the different pronunciation symbols. Okay, guys. So yes, that's really it about the IPA consonant symbols in English, everyone. Teacher, when you will be on a running machine, Alice, again? Yes, Fanzo. I will be in a running machine, Alice, again when I have time. I have been. I have done that yesterday, but I didn't go live. I just did it on my own. Yes. Panzo. I wanted some privacy. Yes, Panzo. But maybe next time I'm going to show you again. Okay, yes. <clears throat> but anyway, Panzo, you're always absent. I need your excuse letter first before I go live again on a running machine. Okay, Panzo. Yes, guys. So that's really it, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. A big shout out to everyone. And if you guys haven't seen my latest video about nature, you guys should check it because you will see something from that video, okay? The video, the title is Nature or the thumbnail is Nature. You guys should check it because I have done something for you guys there, okay? Please check it out. Thank you so much, everyone. So I think that's really it about this live streaming tonight. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate all the time, your presence, guys, and your time. Until now, you are still here, always supporting me. Thank you so much. Big shout out to all of you guys. Thank you so much. Yes, bye, Marta's Kitchen. I was there. Bye, teacher. Bye, classmates. Yes, goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much once again. 
This is English teacher in France saying thank you for tuning in, everyone. I hope to see you again in my next live streaming. And if you guys have suggestions, don't hesitate to give me your suggestions, everyone. Thank you so much. Have a great, great. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Marcus Rich. Have a great evening, everyone. For those people who are in uh, countries which actually evening time now. Yes, everyone. Yes. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Have a wonderful breakfast, lunch, and dinner, everybody around the world. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye-bye.